In today's video, we use four cans of Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray to paint this Integra, and it looks absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless you, and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So as you can see, we have my brother's uh, Integra here. It's already prepped. We went ahead and did all the sanding and got it all good. We went through it with some 320 grit, did some hand sanding afterwards just to make sure that there's no sand swirls or scratches in it because we want the total overall finished look to be really nice and smooth. So we got that done, then laid the plastic over the sunroof and got everything taped up, put the plastic over the other windows and uh, even did the engine bay, which the engine bay is plasticed off as well. And that way that engine bay stays looking good and we've got it ready to go. We're at this point with it. Um, my brother went ahead and wiped it down with a tack cloth, making sure to get every area from front to back. You don't want any dust. We're gonna do the best we can. It's in a garage versus being uh, in a paint booth, so it's going to be as good as possible with what we have. We're just working with what we have. Yes, we could use a spray gun. Yes, we have a spray gun, but they're loud, and this is way cheaper and easier to do and we're gonna use as much as we can, get the whole thing covered. The bumper's not on it, but we do have a bumper for it. We're just gonna be painting this stuff right here, and then you'll see it with the finished result. So it's already been wiped down. We've got the dehumidifier running over here just so it's not humid in here. That's gonna be shut off right before we paint. The door is going open. We've got a box fan with a filter, so everything's gonna be filtered out. And uh, yeah, we're basically just gonna get to painting. This won't have a clear coat. Um, and the white paint that is actually on here right now was done pretty decent So it just needed a good scuff up and it's pretty smooth all the way through It does have its small imperfections, but this thing's going turbo and it's really crazy So uh, we're not gonna be worried about the body too much. Just want to change it and make it his own So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, on the tripod and get to shooting I hope you guys enjoy this video and before we get started make sure to warm these up get some really hot water and let them soak in there for about 10 15 minutes let it soak it all up make sure that everything is blown off make sure there's no water under the cap do some test sprays away from the panel make sure no water spraying out with it from being submerged in water the hot water will heat it up and make it spray even better that's how we get such good results just make sure these are warmed up um, also make sure they're shaking up really well again that test fire away from the panel is going to help a lot in laying it smooth now this won't be a flawless perfection paint job, but it will look really good if God is willing. Also another tip real quick, there is a black dot. You can see right there. Make sure to line that up. And that way, whenever you're tilted down, the siphon tube is usually lined up with that black dot. So that way it picks up all that's in the can. So just another tip, not all spray can companies put the black dot there, but always check for that and line it up. All right, always do a test fire away. We're good to go.
Okay, this is can number three. So far we've done the entire car off two cans and it's looking beautiful. So, can number three, here we go. Okay, I'm on can number four. This should be enough to finish the car. Alright, so there it is. Don't worry, I'll get up close for you guys. Looks beautiful all the way through. What do you think? It's awesome. I love it. What do you think for this? That looks really good. Yeah, it's That's crazy. Four cans. four cans. He witnessed the whole thing. Yeah. He was outside off camera. Yeah, the fumes are strong. Yeah, that's why you gotta wear a mask, guys. That's why we have the, the fan, which is no longer a green filter. It's actually gray. So it did its job. Good job, fan. But uh, it yeah, looks amazing. It, it I love really it. does. And this is his car, by the yep. way. I love um, it. Don't worry, he's not paying me to do this. We're just, you know, family. So family. family. <laughs> so that's exactly why uh, we just help each other out. That's kind of what we do. I cannot do this for everybody. I get a lot of messages. Once we are moved to a different location, things will change. Uh, but we're working on all that, trying to stack up the money that we are getting, so that way we can get property. We've been working on that for like three years now. It's not easy in this economy, but. Again, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, it's been drying for just a little bit now, not too long. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all the plastic and all that stuff off. Remember, while it's tacky, be very careful peeling away from the paint. If you let it fully dry, you could peel paint off with the tape. That's why we do it while it's tacky. That's just another tip that I could give you. Um, and there is a few spots right here, kinda hard to see, but like right there, uh, it hit the tip of the glove, you see, and made it splatter. So. I don't recommend wearing gloves. I just did this because you guys said wear gloves. So, you know, I don't wear gloves. But uh, anyways, yeah, definitely looks good. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff off. Alright, so this is what's left out of that fourth can. We're going to attempt to do this. If you're wondering why these are taped off and not taken out, it's because the previous owners glued these in. They will not come out. Uh, so we just had to tape them off the best we could and we're going to go ahead and get shooting.
right, so here it is. It's dry out in the sun. It looks really good. It's really smooth. The reflection is super nice in this paint. There's no clear on it, but we do have plans to wet sand this, add another coat, and only four cans to do the entire car. We do plan on doing what we did on the EP3, so there will be a link in the description if you didn't see that video. That has 2K clear over spray paint. looks amazing. Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really good, and more important than anything, we saved money, and he's happy with it. So it. as long as he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. So, he, he doesn't have the door jams done or anything like that. It would have taken more cans, obviously, to do that. But he's not really worried about all that. They're um, black. Yeah, and we can, we can always touch it up later. It's not a big deal. This car is tiny. Um, and we do have that car over there, which uh, I got donated to me. And we're going to sand it, clean it up, paint it, and go through it mechanically and be giving that to a guy here in town that needs it. Um, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, but if you're new here, definitely click the subscribe button. If you're wondering why there's jack stands holding the bumper, this thing does not have a uh, core support. You want to open that? So we have to get a core support from the junkyard in here um, to get it kind of lined better. But the engine bay looks absolutely beautiful when it's cleaned up. It's kind of hard to see right now because it's kind of dusty from sanding. But uh, it does have a 2K clear over it. It looks really nice in the sun. You can kind of see it a little bit over here. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, turbo build. That's This is getting a turbo and everything in it. It's a D16 Z6 Viterra. And it's going to be really, really fun. A lot of people are going to see the D-Series and be like, why? Why not? We don't have to really explain why. But um, there's a lot of reasons to it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely looking really nice. And he didn't want to do under the hood. So we didn't. That's why we were able to get away with the whole outside of the car with only four cans. So it's pretty awesome that we could get it all done with four cans. And like I said, he's happy with it. So I'm happy with it. And it looks really good. So if you guys were looking for a sign that you need to get out there and try it yourself, this is it. Um, go get them cans warm, warmed up. I highly recommend that because the warmed up cans is what made such a difference. It was able to spray better, better atomization, less of an orange peel. I don't know if you can tell, but the orange peel isn't very bad on this and it just looks really good. And any orange peel you get can be wet sanded out and you could always go over it again with another uh, coat or wet sand it out and then put the 2K clear over the top and wet sand the 2K clear and buff it and it would look amazing, kind of like that car out there. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely looking really good and I hope you guys enjoyed this content. There will definitely be more coming if God is willing and uh, that car will be going yellow. So if you guys wanna stay tuned for that, it should look pretty good. But that's basically it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But before I do, I just wanted to leave you with this outro. There will be a link in the description for a free Gideon Bible download for anybody who wants to know the good news. And the good news is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And that anybody who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. We'll be given a new heart, a new mind, a new desire, a new fiery passion that burns for the Lord and to get the word out because everybody is headed to hell. Everyone. I was too. But now I am saved by grace through my faith and that Jesus got on the cross and took my spot. He took your spot. I know you probably don't feel good. This message offends many people, but I'm not here to offend you. I'm here to wake you up. That He is coming soon. So repent and turn away from your sin. God has given us so much. And when much is given, much is required. So I am required because this is my new heart and my new mind to tell you guys that Jesus loves you. I know you may not feel it. You may see bad things and be like, but James, if God is so real, why are bad things in the world? Well, I'll tell you why. Because sin is in the world. And sin was passed down by nature through Adam. So we naturally are sinful people. But in order to get rid of the sin... We need to be clothed with righteousness. And once you're clothed with righteousness, God will no longer see the sin. He will see his son. And we can't do that on our own. We cannot get to heaven on our own. Buddha cannot get us to heaven. Okay? Only Jesus Christ. He's the only way. The way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. I tell you this not to scare you. I tell you this because it's exciting and good news that we have a chance to go to heaven and be with the Father and the Son. 
and it's an amazing thing. So if you guys want to know more about this, definitely open up the Word of God. He's trying to speak to you. He's calling out to you. You're not seeing this message by accident. You're not seeing it because I posted at the end of all of my videos. I do that because I'm trying to reach that one person. Jesus left the 99 and went after the one. You're the one. I was the one. He has called us all to a purpose. What's your purpose? So that's something you need to talk with God, have a relationship, get rid of the religion, get rid of the denominations, none of that matters. There's not going to be a Catholic side of heaven and a Christian side of heaven. We're all there because of Jesus Christ, not because you, not because what you did. You cannot work your way to heaven. The only thing you can do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth as the scripture says. I love you and I just wanted to let you guys know this, that everyone has a chance and that's amazing news. So. If you guys want to know more, links in the description, download the Bible, and start reading. I recommend starting around Luke. Just start at Luke. It's just a good place to start. Um, but it's up to you where you start. It's your Bible. But that is basically it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.